Live, local, late breaking. This is WDSU News at 6. Well, parents now trying to plan ahead with the Jefferson Parish School Board voting to close seven schools. Well, parents and advocates are now wondering how students who need a little more assistance inside and outside of the classroom will be impacted. WDSU reporter Ariel Brumfield live in Jefferson Parish with a closer look at these issues. Ariel. Well, the plan for how or what this merger will look like is not crystal clear, but board members say they will ensure that these schools are ADA compliant and that the students have all the adequate resources they need. There was no consideration to the abilities, the needs, the services that are needed, required by the law. Um, it was just completely disregarded. Raina Otala was one of many faces in the sea of green Wednesday night. She says the regression and agitation students with special needs might experience with this merger cost more than any dollar the school board will save. I'm also concerned about kids with autism, kids with um, other uh, disabilities, that change of setting change of schools would negatively impact them, especially kids with autism. A disability advocate and works with parents and students of JP schools. She says Grace King has nine students in self-contained settings who are wheelchair users and two in inclusion settings, one with braces and the other with crooked crutches. She says these students deserved a more thorough decision. And if you can't understand what I'm saying, how will I expect for you to represent me? Another group of students at risk of isolation, students whose first language is not English. If they can't understand me, how will they represent me? How will they know you know what I need? Jasmine Sevilla is a student at Grace King who says there are not enough resources for English language learners, especially now with Grace King students merging it to Bonneville, a school with currently only two interpreters. If you walk around campus, mostly everybody speaks Spanish. You have teachers that maybe don't speak it but understand it. And I feel like that's really going to affect because there's also a shortage in teachers, you know, wanting to help with like ESL kids. We're hoping that by having a few more dollars available, we'll be able to hire more and bring more translators in. And right now, I'm told the teacher shortage stands at a need for about 140 more. Now, we hope to know more in the coming weeks about how the school board members plan to navigate and bring in these resources. Reporting from Jefferson Parish, I'm Ariel Brumfield, WDSU News. Ariel, thank you. You can head over to WDSU.com.